Thrust Feature CAC Delore Welcome to episode 49 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is a continuation on combat and we will be looking at focus and stances. But before we get to that, I would like to welcome you all to my uh, to Gamester's funeral. And before me, you'll see my glorious coffin. And if we take a look inside, there is the corpse of Gamester. So I will now say a few words for myself, because let's face it, at your funeral, the best person to speak on your behalf is yourself. Unfortunately, that's not always possible. But in this instance, I will say some words. I am just a fool whose intentions were good. Oh Lord, don't let me be misunderstood. Yes, that is a quote from a good song. Let's see which clever viewers out there will know what song that is from. So there we are. Right, okay. Simple, sweet, short funeral. Such is life for, or unlife, for the gangster. Right, so we're going to continue on with um, some combat. Because after all, this is supposed to be about focus and stances. Now, for this episode, I will be doing attacking. Because when I died, I did take a hit on my fighting skill. As you'll see there. You see? When you die, you'll get that next to a few different skills. Funny enough, when I died, it was my fighting and my shields which took a hit. But as you can see... I was practicing with the small wooden shield and got that up, but I'll stick with my medium metal shield. That's the one I like. So, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what options you get when you actually enter in combat. So what I'll do is, like I showed you before, I'm going to attack Mr. Rooster, but then I'm going to quickly switch to attacking the ball. What that will allow me to do... Oops, let's turn down the sound. What that will allow me to do is bring up the combat options. So, at the moment, let's close that. At the moment, we're on auto. When you're on auto, you don't get the combat options. So, if I click it off, so it goes to manual, here we are. Here's the combat window. Now, I spoke in the last episode about different distances, and I did want to show you this, but because I was trying to cover so much, it uh, I run out of time so basically you've got three different distances and that's telling you whether you're too close too far or if it's in the center with the little arrow as you can see on the green it's telling you you're good also to the right you'll notice this little deer or some sort of animal you'll see that if you hover over that it also tells you your target distance and it's saying is good so if unsure move over that icon with whatever so i have got a spear in the wagon and we will demonstrate that by looking at that as well to check with the spear so there's the distances that's the three distances um i did speak about them a couple of episodes ago about how you have a melee distance then you have a distance from one to four tiles which or one one to five tiles which was for the spear or throwing items and then you had the 20 tile up to 20 tiles distance which was for bows so this is a different distance this is the melee distance we're talking about at the moment if i had a bow in my hand it would be telling us we're too close i should have asked you that as a question but never mind Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to read from Wormpedia. So, and I'm going to read Focus. Just to, uh, before we start using the skill. Okay, here's from the wonderful Wormpedia. Raising your focus increases your performance in combat. How high you can focus is dependent on your fight skill. A general rule of thumb dictates that overall fight skill 15 determines the level of focus that is easiest for you to reach. Now notice, my overall fighting is 11.69, so I haven't even reached that amount yet, but nevertheless, nonetheless, I will still be able to show you this. 
Okay, so continuing on. You can attempt to focus by turning off auto fight and clicking on the eye icon in the fight window. So it's talking about this here. That's the eye icon. I'm not... Excuse me, sorry. I was going to say... Excuse me. My apologies. <laughs> Typical. I'm going to sneeze. But I had to sneeze at some point. There we go, though. At least I turned away. Right, so that's what it's talking about, the eye up there, which we will get to in a moment. So, there are six possible states of focus. And you will see the six possible messages down here. And it will be one of these six messages that you receive after you focus. And I will be showing you that in a minute, so don't panic. So, here's the messages, the six possible messages you can get. Number one, you are not focused on combat. Number two, you balance your feet and your soul. Number three, you are now focused on the enemy and its every move. Number four, you feel lightning inside, quickening your reflexes. Number five, your consciousness is lifted to a higher level, making you very attentive. Number six, you feel supernatural, invincible max focus level so as you could see starting at number one is the first easiest focus level to achieve and of course it is dependent on your fighting uh, level as to which state of focus you'll be able to get to so at uh, level six you're gonna have to be pretty high I imagine 80 or something like that before you can achieve supernatural status Okay, reading the notes underneath. You can check your current focus level by typing either the F1 command in the chat window or by hovering over the eye icon. So it's far easier just to hover over the icon there. Okay, continuing on. It is believed that focus raises your combat rating by a little bit. Remember we was talking about your combat rating? Well, there's another way, another factor in uh, improving your combat rating by focusing. Focus helps you parry more with your weapon. Remember, using swords is best for parrying, because you'll parry more often with a sword and a shield, of course. Next, focus helps you hit more. So, there's another bonus of focusing. Focus helps you get a better footing. Up here, you'll see there's the foot. It's telling you your footing. My footing is normal. When I focus, it could say I'll have better footing. In PvE player versus environment focus can turn a fight around completely so once we start getting a good fighting skill and we start focusing up to the fourth fifth six levels of focus then we'll see a drastic change in our combat with mr rooster he'll be splattered before we can even get partly into the fight Okay, reading on. Whilst the focus action timer is in progress, you are a lot more open to attack and you do not swing your own weapons. So you'll notice, you will observe. When I click on the focus eye, a bar will run across the bottom of here that while I'm trying to focus. In that process, I am open to attacks from the creature that I'm fighting plus I will not be swinging my sword so that's what it's talking about and yes I'm going to show you that in a minute okay continuing on there are various ways to lose focus including swinging switching targets and through a special move oh yes well we're going to get to special moves that will be the next episode but it'll be a good one okay so that's reading the focus let's now show you so there is a trick with shield bashing which I will show you after focus okay if we come down here remember we was talking about the fighting sub skills one of them shield bashing well I'll show you a neat little trick for improving that but before we get to that let's show you focus now we can't focus at the moment because I've targeted that ball over there. So if I try, if I click, nothing will happen. If I, however, switch to back to Mr. Rooster, now if I focus, you'll see the focus bar is going up. And 
if we switch to combat it tells us you fail to reach a higher degree of focus do you see that okay so what do we do we try again we click focus the focus is going up I'm open to attack and not swinging you fail to reach we try again it's going up uh, you try to focus you balance your feet and your soul remember that was message number two so I've reached the second state of focus so now I'm going to be fighting a little better but I don't want to harm Mr. Rooster because it's not Christmas Day yet. I don't eat turkey. We're going to be eating rooster. Anyway, let's switch back to the ball so I don't kill Mr. Rooster. Right, so I said that I'd show you a little trick. So with the focusing, before I jump away from that, as you can see, complete and utterly worth it. While you're in auto fight mode, all of that is switched off, as you can see, because it does it all for you. I strongly recommend that you don't use the automatic method play around with the manual it's a lot of fun especially when you start getting your defenses up and you're not in um, you're not gonna die easily so as you're getting more skilled start to hone your fighting skills because yes I'm fighting a rooster at the moment and it doesn't really matter much my fighting skills but if that was a crocodile every little advantage I can squeeze out of my combat will help me so focus to pull it to, to cut to the chase, focus is well worth it. Right, let's now show you shield bashing. Now, in order to shield bash, obviously you have to have a shield equipped, which I have. So, here's the neat trick with building up your shield bashing. I've got the ball targeted. He's too far away from me, but guess what? If I click on this icon here, this is how you shield bash. If I click notice down here I'm now bashing and bang and the attack to the left oh wait a minute no there is a message for shield bashing where is it appearing uh, must be in combat um, did I miss it the trouble is it gets so blurry here let's try again notice that it takes a few seconds as soon as I shield bash it will disappear the icon watch that first of all so it's going along once this gets to the end watch see it's disappeared and down here an age uh... oh yeah here we are you aim to push age rooster over with your shield my skills really low so let's just keep trying let's now try and bash again let's make sure he's not dying he's not okay you aim to push rooster over the shield you can get different messages again let's see if I can show you a different message wait for this to come back there you go let's try again aged rooster is sprawling on the ground there you go there was a stun but it was a very brief one why because my skill is so although I'm sure I read that that doesn't actually improve the the uh, it is it was a it was on the Wikipedia it was a little unclear as to uh, it rumors that you can increase your stun but it doesn't actually tell you how you can increase the length of the stun so it's all speculation at the moment so there we are though there's a neat trick to getting your bashing up uh, even though I haven't targeted the rooster, I'm still able to bash Mr. Rooster. But I'm not doing no damage to him because the skill isn't high enough. So there we go. Right, okay. So, next, let's talk about stances. What are stances? Well, have you been wondering what all these little swords are around your body up here in the combat window? they are all the stances now let's tell you a little about this if you are fighting a troll okay and you're not sure whether you're gonna win the fight or not what you would do is you would attack either the lower right or the lower left a question to you now why would that be beneficial to you to attack either the lower right or the lower left I'll give you a few moments to pause the video and think about that okay you've had a chance to do that 
The reason you would start attacking the lower right or the lower left is because you would want to damage his one of his legs. If you damage one of his legs, you're going to... It's like if you was playing the game EverQuest, it's like a snare. You would be making him walk slower because you've hurt his leg. If someone kicked you in the leg... All right, no, that's not a good example. If someone, if you hurt your leg, you would be moving slower, basically. So that's what we're talking about. And it affects all the creatures. If you harm their legs, they will move slower. If you want to do the maximum amount of damage to a creature, you will always target their heads. The heads does the, much, the most damage, but the head is the hardest target to hit. Why are these two greyed out? Because my skills are too low. Right, now with all of that said, I'm going to switch to Wormpedia, the wonderful Wormpedia, and I'm going to read to you what it says about stances. Okay, while in combat, the player has the option to shift the focus of his blows to different parts of the opponent's body using stances. Blows to different parts of the body may have different effects. For example, aiming for the head of the opponent, opponent yields significantly more damage as well as temporarily, temporarily decrease, decreasing their mind logic. Aiming for the feet or legs may also slow your opponent, and it says etc. Aiming at different body parts also affects your chances of aiming at others. For example, if you aim for the right parts, then the chances of aiming for the lower right or upper right parts will normally increase. Most special moves may also only be performed when aiming at certain body parts. So, take note of what I just read to you. Depending on what body part you're aiming for is then dependent on the special moves that you can do. And I've not got to special moves yet, but I thought I would mention that whilst it was on the subject. Also, with each individual weapon is different special moves associated with it. So whether you're going to your, um, whether you're going to your Warhammer or your huge club, or your sword, or your mules, or your pole arms, your spear, your halberd, your staff. They all have your special moves. What are they? We're going to get to special moves, but that's another episode. Right, something else that I wanted to show you, which I keep forgetting, remembering, and forgetting. Let's see if I can get it back. Oh yeah, taunting. I mentioned taunting to you before, and no doubt the more observant of you that are watching this, and you're probably all observant, it's only Gamester who's a bit of a... misses everything in life. Anyway, you're probably wondering, well you spoke about taunting, why do we not see any icons there for taunting? Remember, you only get the option to taunt if, they are, if there are multiple players or multiple creatures or critters think about it if there's multiple creatures attacking you then the taunt will appear if there's multiple people around an individual or so yeah that was probably explained a bit badly but visualize a group of five people around mr rooster one person wants to be the tank they will be taunting. The option to taunt will appear because there are five of you. If there, if the computer does not, if the game does not sense uh, multiple players, no taunt, as you can see there. Because what would the logic be in me taunting Mr. Rooster if it's only me here anyway? Because he's going to focus on me. So I think I've got my point across. So let's now carry on in Wormpedia that is. In addition to changing offensive aim, there are also defensive stances. The player cannot have an offensive and defensive stance selected at the same time. He must choose one or the other. Defensive stances are the last of the bunch to become available to the player. Usually around 48 to 50 weapon skill. You was just before I was reading, as I was reading that, you were saying defensive stances. What are they? Well, we aren't going to see them because my fighting skill is only on 11.69. That's just told you it's got to be between 48 and 50 before the defense stance 
appears. And I'm not even sure if the offence stance is there yet. So bear that in mind, please, as I read through some of this information. You may not see it. Okay, it's just like the game all over. You know, some of the skills haven't even unlocked yet. They aren't appearing in this list yet because some don't appear as you unlock them, just like the skills in fighting. That's why when some people pick up Worm Unlimited or Worm Online and they play it for five minutes, they go and fight something and they only see... Um, this little window, they presume that you just right click attack, that's it, that's all there is to combat. For, for goodness sake, there is hardly many games which go into the levels and details of the combat of this game, but it's like any good game. You need to unwrap it and delve a bit deeper than a shallow 30 minutes. This game demands respect, and in order to unwrap the joy within, you need to delve deep. So, there we go, I'm waffling, aren't I? Well, you've come to expect it by now. Right, okay, continuing on from Wormpedia. While in auto fight, fight button in the event window, so it's talking about that, um, the game will choose stances for you. However, at low skills, no stance options will be available to you. I repeat, with my skills being low, no stance options are available yet. So do not for one second believe that all you see here is all there is to combat. It goes deep. And I've already said to you, if you want to get dirty and deep, then be my guest to go to Wormpedia and delve even deeper. There's only so much a percentage of you can tolerate that I subject you to in my waffling so therefore I do try to cut to the chase in most of my explaining although that is difficult with Treebeard Jr because he believes if anything's worth talking about it's worth talking until I lose my voice nearly okay you can also bind keys to stances so once you get some stances have some fun binding keys Right, okay, I think I will leave it there for this episode. I shall beat the timer for a change. In actual fact, no. Let's let's now show you improving my short sword to see if we can get us prepared for a special move. Actually, I don't want to kill the rooster. Right, okay, I'll end it there. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you. And may he keep every single last one of you safe. Merry Christmas to you all, um, as it's going to be Christmas tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you everyone that uh, views my videos, this series. Bless you all, and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.